Yo, Elliot, my issue is finding a good woman. Or more so, where do I look? What are some good ways to meet new women? I've been out of the dating game for a while now since before COVID-19. Seems like everyone is getting married around me and having kids, which is definitely a top goal for me. I'm already 32, but I feel like I'm not even close and I don't have any candidates and I have no idea where to look. So as a 32 year old man, you know, this is when you start reaching your peak, right? And so we've been talking about this. Once a man crosses the 30 year old threshold, there's a good chance that between, you know, 30 and 36, now you're really standing on top of your, 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 your pile. You're standing, you're, you climb to the top of the ladder right now. You're probably making more money than you've ever made. You are, I remember when I was 32, I was in the best shape of my life. I was the strongest I ever was. I was most attractive I ever was when I was 32. Specifically, if you go back, I was 32 in 2014. If you go back and look at old Uncle E in 2014, I was a sexy dude, right? And so you're you're just getting there, which is a good thing. And I want you to recognize where you are with things, right? And then with that, think in terms of what kind of woman you want, right? We talked about having a woman who wants to uh, like you say, you have a woman who wants to be a wife. She wants to have children. She wants to cook clean. I want a woman that I can take care of. You know, again, everybody's a little bit different. Some guys want a high powered profile CEO wife. Me, I want a wife that stays home and works for me, works with me, d delivers her value to the family, not out to the world and to be a, a good taxpayer. Right. So I start being very deliberate about what you want in a woman as you've already built your value or continue to build your value so that you will have the pick of the litter that on top of maybe find someone a little bit younger right because a woman's value is in her youth a man's value is in his in his you know he's in his prime in his 30s your question is where do i go to meet new women now that all boils down to what kind of woman that you want to be with right if I was 32 and I was and I knew I wanted marriage, I wanted family, I wouldn't go to bars, right? I wouldn't go to clubs. I wouldn't be look I wouldn't want to be looking for women who are on the scene. This is where dare I say <laughs> day game comes in, right? And there are guys that talk about day game. I, I remember Roosh V. Not that I was like into dating, but I I I'm a fan of him now because he's he's an Orthodox Christian and so I'm familiar with his work, his previous work as a result. But this is where you live your daily life. You live your daily life, but you keep your kind of you keep your options open, you keep your eyes open. And if you see a woman that's presenting in a way that says she might have the resources that would make a good wife, then you gotta know how to approach. I don't even know if places is important as your approach. Do you practice approaching? I think it would be good to practice approaching even if it's it doesn't really go anywhere, right? Like approaching literally just means go and talk to the girl. Just go and talk to her. You don't even have to escalate it at all if that's not your intention, but you gotta get comfortable talking to these girls, right? And by talking to them, what do you get to do? You start to vet, you start to ask questions, right? You just wanna get to know somebody, right? And so if you're not doing that yet, my advice is, you got to put your bait out in the in the lake if you want to catch a bite, right? And I don't I'm not so sure it's about where you look, but getting out there putting your bait in the lake might look like joining a book club, joining a softball league, joining a CrossFit gym, going somewhere where there are women that hold a particular value that may have the values that you want and maybe single, right? If you're a Christian, go to a Bible study for, for Christian youth. I remember I used to go to this, um, I used to go to a traditional Catholic church in Tampa Bay and they had singles, they had singles, uh, uh, dances, right? And so they would get people, you, you get single Catholics together and they would go and they would, you know, meet and then court each other, right? I'm not saying you have to go that extreme, but go to places where people are doing things that are analogous to what it is that you're looking for, right? Go to the, if you want a woman who is a thoughtful woman, right? Go to a library, right? Or <laughs> talking, speaking of traditional and like, you know, this is, I'm going to go left field with this one right here because I'm just brainstorming and talking at the same time. 
Um, I know a lot of guys, and I've been speaking to someone in particular, I had a coaching call with him, um, who are going back to their native European lands. This guy's Polish. And he's like, it turns out that Polish women, traditional Polish women are amazing wives. I didn't know this. He told me this. So he's, he's ditching the American degeneracy, and he's going, to, he's going to Poland, where he wants to go find a, a wife that is... And I think that's good also because, I, as strange as it may sound coming from a mixed-race guy like me, I think birds of a feather should stick together. I think it's better to be with someone who is of the same race, culture, creed, religion, uh, mindset, and so forth, right? Go back home, right? Where are you from? You from Russia or something like that? I've heard that these Russian women, they can be, they can be good traditional women, right? Eastern European, right? Maybe it's a good time to start traveling to Eastern European countries. Or, you know, if, again, I'm just talking. I won't get myself in trouble. My wife watches my videos, so she knows I'm just talking shit. But if I was, if I was in, your, in, your, in your shoes and I was looking for a traditional woman, man, I would go to the Middle East or something, right? I would, go to, I would go to these countries where the women are still very religious, right? Right? There are, depending on your religion, right? If you're Muslim, definitely go... You know, go to a Muslim country, go to, where would you go, Pakistan, or you could go to Iraq, or Iran, or I don't know, you, Turkey, right? There's also traditional Christian women in those countries too, right? If you go into, you go to Jerusalem, go to, you know, some of these countries around, you know, Turkey, the Middle East. I'll go for, I think Middle Eastern women are beautiful. I think Indian women are amazing. And did you know that Indians, particularly Hindu Indians... And I'm not saying you got to convert, but it's just interesting to know. Have the most successful long-term marriage rates in the world. Indians don't divorce, <laughs> right? Indians don't divorce. It's not a thing in their culture. They have a totally different mindset on life in terms of like longevity. They think more long-term, right? I'm not judging all... Indians, but it's a part of their culture to think, to slow down and think more long term. I will go find a, a nice Indian woman, right? <laughs> right? Go find a nice Pakistani or Indian woman, traditional woman from some, you know, some, some other country. That may be something I consider doing as well, bro. So anyway, he says, I thought about, uh, go, uh, he says, Ukrainian. I visit Ukraine recently, and the women there are top notch. I just wasn't there for long. Go back, go back. <laughs> You're Ukrainian. That's what I'm talking about, right? I bet women from Ukraine are awesome. He says I tried the internet also, but the women have unrealistic expectations there, and in general, the internet was not fruitful for me. Yeah, it won't be, but Ukraine might be. I thought I was the only one from Ukraine. No, you here with a bunch of our boys, Nikita, George. Say what's up. Um, yeah. So go back to the Ukraine, bro. You even say it yourself. You're asking me where to go look, and you said the women were top notch. There, there's no question in my mind. You go back, you go spend a few months, find a family member or somebody to stay with out there, spend some time in the Ukraine, bro, and I guarantee you find the right kind of girl for you. Nice traditional Ukrainian girl. Anyway, man, keep me posted. I hope that helps, dude. Duh. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.